Well, good morning for all of you who are waking up in the States right now. Good afternoon for all of you who are here. Uh, this is David Tal. This is the Balagan Connection. And I'm literally standing on one of the main entrances into the city of Modin. That's where I live. You've probably seen me from the balcony a couple of times. And the main reason I'm standing specifically here is because that little bump that you can see in the background is Modine's own special Iron Dome battery. The Iron Dome is an anti-missile interceptor system that is actually set here to make sure that if the Hamas fires a missile at my hometown, that's the town that you can see right here, and at the neighborhood where I live and where my mom lives, okay, that battery up there will send an interceptor and take out that missile in midair. This is how Israel defends itself, and Israel has been defending itself. But just so you get an idea of the complexity of the situation, this is not normal. This is our sunset hill. This is the hill where young people go to watch the sunset in the evening, okay? There doesn't or shouldn't have to be an anti-missile battery on here. And, and just so you understand what it is to live in this kind of environment. Now, don't get me wrong, it has saved Modin from at least two missile attacks in the last two rounds. But I'm going to say something else, though. The last attack by the Hamas in Gaza, which is about 40 minutes in that direction, 40 miles in that direction, the last attack wasn't a missile attack. It's part of the reason that we were surprised. The last attack, probably about a thousand people that were killed in the last terrorist attack were killed not by long range missiles that they fired into neighborhoods, which is atrocious as, is an atrocity as it is, but were killed by gunmen going into houses, pointing a barrel at a man, at a woman, and we're finding out now more and more at a baby and pulling the trigger. It's a whole completely different kind of atrocity. And here's what I don't understand is why the people are saying this is okay. So this is going to be one of snippets that we're going to put together. And, and here, from the Iron Dome battery in Modin, from the city of Modin, from the highway leading into Modin, I want to say again, remember what happened. Remember who we are. And if you understand what's going on, please support, please reach out, and please pray for the Israeli people. Please pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That's what's more important than everything right now. So David Tal, Modin, see you again in a while.